Hey guys, it's Livia, and today I'm going to be giving you some recommendations of TV shows and movies. Now, quarantine's still going on, so we're all bored at home. Hopefully it'll end soon, but we all know the reality of it. And also, summer's coming, and you know, some days during the summer, you don't want to go outside. So if you want to stay inside, you know, movies and TV shows are always a go-to thing to do. So I'm going to give you some of my recommendations. You may have heard of some of these. Some of them are very popular and well-known, and then others, not so much. I'm going to start off with TV shows, but if you want to just skip to movies, I'll put the timestamp right here, and you can skip to right there. All right, so the first show, which I'm sure that a lot of you have at least heard of it, maybe not watched it. I personally did not want to watch it, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it a chance because it's being raved about. And that show is Outer Banks. So I assumed that it was just like one of those stupid teen things where just everyone's hot, which it's kind of true, everyone is hot, but it has a nice mystery involved in it. I personally did not get into the show until like episode four. That's when it really like got me like I was hooked it's a good drama it has a great mystery it has so like so many good elements to it I don't want to give too much away with anything so just take my word it's a good show it only has 10 episodes so it's not too much of a commitment so I would just say watch it it's really good next is American Crime Story I have not watched the first season but currently I'm watching the assassination of Gianni Versace season and I have like one episode left and it's really really good. It's by Ryan Murphy so anything by him is good like I can hands down tell you anything by him is good. Look him up, watch a show, you'll enjoy it. But yeah American Crime Story it's really good it's really interesting if you're into crimes and knowing more about them because he represents it so well, the whole entire storyline leading into it and what exactly happened. It's a really interesting show and it's well done. This is another one that you've probably heard about and that is Too Hot to Handle. It's a reality TV show where a bunch of just really hot people come on it and basically they're not allowed to do anything with each other and if they follow those rules they'll have a nice prize at the end. It's really funny, it's kind of frustrating at times but I'd say give it a watch. Reality TV is not even my thing, but it was really good. Next up is another Ryan Murphy show, and that is Hollywood. It just came out on Netflix like two, three weeks ago or whatever, and it was so good. I watched it so fast. There's only seven episodes, I believe, but it's really good. It hooks you in. It has a nice storyline. It's Ryan Murphy. That's all I got to say. Now, this next show is only on Apple TV, and I fortunately have a trial, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna watch this show, and that is Defending Jacob. It's about a 14-year-old boy who is accused of murdering one of his classmates, and his dad is a lawyer, so he's trying to clearly clear his name. So, it's very interesting. It's not done yet. Um, I don't know how many episodes it's gonna end off with, because it's... Um, they get released every week, and I think there's like four or five episodes out by now, but it's very interesting so far, so I do recommend that if you have Apple TV. Next up, I have Atypical as a recommendation. There's, I believe, three seasons out. Their shorter episodes are like 20 to 30 minutes. Just a really nice, true, real-life thing that could happen, like a son has autism, and his family is struggling with it, and there's so many nice elements to it. It's such a good show, and there's comedy, sadness, drama. It has everything. Now, if you're into, I'd say, like, Stephen King stuff, this next one's good for you. Um, the show is I Am Not Okay With This. If you've seen it, you know what's up. It's really good. It's another short episode one. It has like 20-30 minute episodes and it has like eight episodes in the first season that's out right now. It's basically, it's kind of like Carrie but with a twist. That's all I gotta say. It's really good though. Next up is Never Have I Ever. It's yet again another short episode show and this is also a new show. It's really good. It's just about some girl who's going through high school and wanting to date guys and become popular, and it has a lot of drama in it and comedy. Someone just rang my doorbell, what? All right, I think I left off here, so the next show is Scream. The way that the show ended up working out was interesting. The first two seasons included the same cast, and it was just a continuing storyline. It's based off of the Scream movie series. And then this third season had a whole new cast, and it actually turned out really good, even though it was like three years after the previous season. But I would recommend it. If you just want something short to watch, just watch season three. But if you want something longer to watch, just watch all of it. It's really, all of it's good. 
Next up is The Fosters slash Good Trouble. Um, I would recommend watching like all of it together. It's going to be long to watch because The Fosters has like five seasons I think and then Good Trouble already has two. Um, the Fosters is like the original family coming in being fostered and then Good Trouble is two of the sisters moving out together on their own pursuing their career and a lot of drama but it's really juicy and good hooks you next up we have The Society it's a Netflix show and it's about these teenagers that get stuck on some alternate version of their town or maybe the same version but all the adults are gone they're locked in there's nowhere for them to go so they have to basically create their own society and way of living and last for TV shows, I would recommend Jane the Virgin. It's probably one of the best shows ever, in my opinion. It has such an interesting like filming style and the way that it's done. I think it's really fun. It's funny. It has drama. It's a romance. It's so good. I would recommend that too. And it's complete. It's done. So if you want to watch a fini fully finished show, <laughs> watch that. Okay, so I forgot to mention a really good TV show that I've watched recently, and that is Looking for Alaska. It's on Hulu. Um, it's really, really good. It's based out of the book series, so go watch that too. Alright, so now on to movies. So this first recommendation, I don't even know if I should recommend it because it is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a Spanish movie, so if you're into reading subtitles, and this would be for you, um, and it's about people with deformities in their body and how life is for them, but I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of weird and messed up. <laughs> Next up, we have What Happened to Monday, and this is probably one of the best movies that I've watched the past like year that I would recommend. So it's basically about a society that is overpopulated, so each family can only have one child. This one lady had a set of seven twins. There were seven people born. I don't know the term. Septuplets or whatever. <laughs> um, and so they all, they're all identical. So they each have a day that they're assigned that they can go out into society. And they eventually start to get caught for what is going on. And it, it gets ugly. <laughs> the next one is a nice classic movie. A lot of you have probably already seen it. But I actually watched it for the first time like a month ago because it got put on Netflix. So that is Perks of Being a Wallflower. It's just a really good, sad story, but also happy at times. It really pulls with your emotions. So if you like emotional movies, that is a really good one for that. A great comedy if you like mysteries, but mainly comedies would be Murder Mystery. It includes Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. And it's mostly funny. They're trying to figure out who murdered someone on this random boat that they ended up on for their 30 year later honeymoon or whatever year later it was their long awaited honeymoon and it's just really funny and it's kind of reminds me of Knives Out but not as good but it's kind of like Knives Out like that type of vibe next one this movie wasn't amazing to me but it, it really was interesting. I wanted to watch the whole thing. It was Secret Obsession. It's basically about this lady gets into a car accident and this man has been obsessed with her for years so he uses that as an opportunity to trick her into thinking that they were married and so he takes her back from the hospital because he changes his identity to make it seem like he's her husband and she has like no memory she loses her memory so she doesn't know what's going on but then she slowly figures it out so it's it's interesting next one is edge of 17 it's a really nice coming of age type movie and it has more emotional stuff some deep stuff in it it's really good though this one is another new movie that just came out on netflix and it's called the half of it it's about a girl in high school who is struggling with her sexuality and she doesn't really want to come out yet um and she meets this guy who is in love with the girl that she's also in love with and he wants her to write letters to her for him because he doesn't know how to write well I feel like I'm being really confusing so essentially the girl who is struggling with her sexuality writes letters to her crush but it's not from her it's from the guy that also wants to date the girl. I'm sorry, that's really confusing. Go watch the trailer though. It's really good. It's a more unique romantic story and yeah. 
And finally, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this, but I can't help but recommend it, and it's on Netflix right now. That is Into the Spider-Verse. If you like Spider-Man, obviously you're going to like this. It's And if you also don't like Spider-Man or have never seen Spider-Man, you can still watch this. You don't need to watch any other Spider-Mans. And it's really good. <laughs> um, it's like a different twist on Spider-Mans. It has a bunch of different versions of Spider-Mans in it, and it's a really unique like what's it called cartooning animation that's what it's called it has a unique animation style and it's just really really cool so if you're bored go watch that all right so that includes my list of recommendations for tv shows and movies and if you've seen any of these let me know in the comment section below if you're planning to watch any of these by my recommendations also comment that below if you want to see any specific videos from me in the future, just let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to take some recommendations because I'm not the most creative person in the world. So if you guys want to see specific stuff from me, let me know and I will deliver. Alright, have fun watching some good movies and TV shows. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!